Okay, guys, without further ado, newsletters. Ugh. When you want to wear Hello everyone, welcome to another video of here on my channel, Ride On. I'm Estelle Michaels, here is where I talk about all things self-publishing. If you are new to the channel, like I said, I talk about all things self-publishing. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel, I hope that you uh, will subscribe. Take time to hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you won't miss another uh, how-to tutorial. Uh, this is here on my channel. We're kind of taking a different, um, we're going to take a different turn. Here I'm going to be talking more about uh, how-to tutorials. When you see my face, it's more of that, but um, I now have started a podcast. So I, I will be putting podcasts up here as well, but I do hope that you will go to Spotify. You can find me there, and I hope you will join the podcast. Podcast is where I talk more about uh, topics and things about self-publishing. Here on the channel is where I'll be discussing more how-tos as well. And I'll also be having some special guests come on the show as well on my on my YouTube and have that, and I'll turn that into a podcast as well. If you have already subscribed, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Thank you for your support, for subscribing, and for all the views and the likes, the comments. I greatly appreciate it. I love you guys so much. If you want to continue to support me and the channel, the best, best way you can support an author is go buy my book. It's available. Go buy my book. You can go to my website at thesinisteatnovel.com and go to the store. You click on that, and there you can buy um, the ebook, and then you can buy the audiobook. And let me tell you guys, it's cheaper if you go there. It's available now. If you want print, I am working on getting print available through my website. But right now, if you want print, you're going to have to go to Amazon, but you got to wait until April 19th, and it's that's going to cost you about $15, $15 for the audiobook, and also uh, $9.99 for the ebook at Amazon. If you want it to get cheaper, and it's cheaper, at my website. So I hope you guys will definitely uh, go check that out. My story, it is a romance novel. If you love romance, or if you know somebody who does, you can gift the books there, uh, please. Go check it out if you are, <laughs> and if you are from Helvetica Dubs, if you are a fan of Laura Olympus, any of that, I will say from Helvetica Dubs, my wonderful, wonderful VAs Logan Digma and Jackson Laurie, aka the Voices of Hades and Persephone, they voiced and read, narrated my, this audiobook. So, uh, without further ado, let's get going. Website. Okay, so, without further ado newsletters <laughs> so newsletters why do we have to have newsletters well in this day and age everywhere you look you have sign up for our newsletters it can be anything you know it can be Harry and David sign up for a newsletter on you know on like chocolates and gourmet foods to shoes to any brand any clothes anything like that and books especially with authors and the reason why is because they want your email. We want email addresses. Why do we want email addresses? What is the point? Well, the point is not only to, you know, give them, you know, something in return for that, but for that, okay, anything can happen in this day and age. Your platform can go down. YouTube can go shut down. Facebook. Instagram, it can all be gone like that. In a blink of an eye, it is gone, and we have no way to tell our subscribers anything. We can't tell them anything about what is happening, what has happened, especially, and also the big thing with us as writers, Amazon. Amazon, they can immediately shut down our account, get rid of us. Our books can no longer be purchased on Amazon. What are you going to do? Well, you can't because you have no email addresses. You cannot get in touch with your readers to tell them, hey, it's okay, you know, and you need to redirect them to where they can buy other your books. That's why you don't rely everything. Don't put all your eggs in the Amazon basket. Do not do it. 
that's why I will eventually be making a video why you will find me on Payhip. I really love Payhip. I can sell from my own website and that's why I really kind of like to encourage everyone to go to Payhip. Sorry Amazon, you just, you take away too much money and I just, I just don't care for it. <laughs> Any of it and other, but I digress. So, so that is why we have to have email addresses because, like I said, anything can happen and we have to be able to get in touch with our audience, with our readers. So, and also, why should we have newsletters? Newsletters are fun. We can make them fun. Think about it. I want you to think of your favorite author and you love their work. You love, you know, and you just want to know more about them. So what do you do? You go to their website. Not only do you have their books, but you go to their website and you want to see, hey, what's going on? You know, personally with them, not just what you see on the website. You want to know more. So you go there and you sign up for the newsletters. I'm subscribed to at least two newsletters from my two favorite authors. I have one is a duo writing group, Max Monroe and Melanie Moreland. I, well, I, my, but I think my favorite out of those is Max Monroe, but so there, yeah, so you, newsletters are fun. We want to find out more and we get kind of like, you're in like that kind of secret club in a way, you know more about what's going on. You're the first to, in the know. You get an, um, the first to know of like, okay, this book, it turned into an audio book. It's available now. Go get it. You knew it before anyone else did. So, and you. That's why we sign up for them. I want you guys to do this for me. Go into, after you watch this video all the way through, I would love for you guys to go ahead, put in the comments, who have you subscribed to? Who's your favorite author? And who do you, and have you subscribed to their newsletter? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so not only are newsletters fun and, you know, we, um, we get them, you know, we have uh, email addresses mainly for the help, really it's for the all, it's for the readers, you know, to, for their peace of mind as well. But now, the big question, and this was big for me because at the time, at a lot of our, a lot of, you know, writers and authors out there, if you are new to this game, you're kind of wondering, I don't even have a book out yet. What do I include in this newsletter? Well, I'm glad you asked because there's so much you can include in a newsletter without having to have a book. True, newsletters, we do put, you know, you do advertise your book a little bit, you know, but that's not what a newsletter is all about. It's not a complete spammy thing. True, it is a marketing <laughs> tool, but that's not all what it should be. This, it should be about you know, more than that. We're not signed. They're not signing up to us just so we can just spam them with buy my book, buy my book, buy my book. They're not going to want to, you know, they're going to click unsubscribe, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. That is what's going to happen. So here are some ideas for you guys. Um, I wrote them down. So I have a lot of ideas here to help you guys. If you don't have a book out yet, Here's what you can do to um, put in your newsletter. You can have a giveaway. You can announce uh, book promotions. Talk about your work in progress. Talk about that book that you are now writing. Um, do cover reveals, but do it. Um, you give them that first. If you have a platform, make sure that your newsletter, that those people get it first before you air that on a, on a YouTube video. Um, show your writing process. Give them behind the scenes look of writing. What do you do? Do you have to sit down and like squeeze something a billion times before you write? Do you listen to music? Put the playlist down there. Do you have a special drink that you like to drink while you're writing? Talk about, you know, if it's like a tea, like what kind of tea do you like to drink? What kind of coffee? How do you take your coffee? How do you take your tea? Just things in that kind of nature. Your writing process. Do you write during the day? Do you write at night? Um, just, you know, all these different kinds of your writing process. Um, make it special. Give them a special note. Thank you, you know, thank them for, you know, they gave you your email address. Thank them for doing that because in this day and age, um, email addresses are very precious. 
they're very precious and I don't want people just clogging up my uh, my inbox just with you know I, you know we hate that we hate spam we hate just being clogged up with you know political things or buy buy this buy that you know you know we just come on no 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 um, so make it special for them and then um, have news announcements talk about the book talk about it coming out you know, or any other thing you have coming out, you can do book reviews on books that you're currently reading or audiobooks if you're like me. Um, like, you can, you know, like I said, I have up here, I have not only do I have my Cinecy book that I write, but I have Laura Olympus and my Laura Olympus mug. But the reason I do that is if you are, you know, if you're new to the channel and you don't know, I am a huge Webtoon Laura Olympus fan, but also because my narrators for my audiobook. Um, Laura, uh, Logan Digma and Jackson Laurie, please pick up my audiobook. That's just a shameless plug. But they have voiced the two main characters in the Olympus on web on Webtoon. They did a dub of it of the Laura Olympus comic, and they were the main characters, Hades and Persephone. And so I like to kind of give this kind of a plug as well to show like they not only did this book, but you know they did my book as well. So, but talk about that. I've listened to audiobooks. In mine, I, I write or I show what I'm listening to. I don't have time to read anymore, so I listen to audiobooks. And just, you know, talk about that. Do an article that you saw that was interesting or a podcast or just, just something or even a video like this. If you saw something that really helped you in writing or you felt interesting, you think other people would find interesting, you could talk about that. There is so many different topics. I've heard of recipes. If you look at mine, which I'll show you guys, I write recipes in my book. My characters, they cook. And I have written down recipes that they made in the dishes that they've made in the book. So the um, if you sign up for that, then you get you get that exact recipe. And it's exactly how like I thought of how and I know how it tastes and, and everything. So you get that if you sign up for my newsletter. So you have all of these ideas. So, you know, the sky is the limit. You don't have to have a book out yet to say, you know, buy my book, you know, or, you know, none of that. Or, oh, there's also character inspirations, fan art. I already have fan art. I have a wonderful, wonderful fan out there. She loved the Synesty. She got an early copy of it and of the audiobook. She loved it. She sent me a picture, a drawing, and she's an artist, and she sent me already like a fan you know an art thing and I'm going to include that in um, my next newsletter I'll ask her if she don't mind but I she did so I you know if you if you also like to draw you know or you have Pinterest boards and you know take a picture of that you can do that put it in put it in your newsletter you have all of these ideas the sky is the limit guys so you have all of these um, things you can talk about I know that's a lot for fiction but um, there's also nonfiction um, if you're talking about a person a historical person you know put in a biography about that person or just little tidbits of did you knows and, and things like that if you went to like if I'm, I'm using uh, like a historical thing if you on your next vacation or your vacation if you went to like if you're writing about, um, I don't know, Ulysses Grant, and you went to, you know, somewhere, a monument, well, you know, or a famous battle on your vacation, take a picture of that, of you there, and, and write about that. Put that in there. People, you know, pictures, they, you know, readers want to know about you, and they want to know about your writing, but mainly also about you. What makes you you? They want to know about you, the writer. Okay, so with all that, now that we have all these ideas, all of these ideas, now you're probably wondering, okay, so I have all this, but do I have to have a website? How do I get people to sign up for my newsletter? Okay, do you need a website? Well, yes, you do need a website eventually, but if you want to take a step at a time, then you don't need a website just yet. You can sign up for what is called a landing page. You sign up for it and you get that set it up for free. You can do this for free. And then you can have it connect to your, excuse me, to your email address. You know, they give you the email to your newsletter and it will be sent out to the people who signed up and they can receive it. You can set up landing pages on 
there's convert kit there's mailer light there's mailchimp i know on canva you can make landing pages they call them websites but really they're just landing pages and you can't make it like an official website it's so pretty and so cool i wish you could but you can't they're just mainly just mainly landing pages but also make sure you have a platform to tell your readers and your followers where to go if you're on Instagram, if you're on TikTok or YouTube, uh, Facebook, make sure you put that in there to tell them to click on. You can have a link and you can sign up. They'll, it'll take them there and they can sign up for, for that. But you do have to eventually have a website. So that'll probably be in the next one because I do have a website. And I, I was very excited to make it because it's very different. I know a lot of people will probably say, don't do how you did it. I'm sorry, I did. I, I could not, I had a regular website before. I didn't like it. I hated talking about myself, really. What I really loved was the characters in my book. So if you go to my website, it's mainly about the two characters in my book. I do have a page about me. You can read about me and you can talk to me and all of that. You can send me emails and all that. But it's mainly just really about my characters, which everyone really has fallen in love with that has signed up. So I really hope you guys will take a look at that as well and I'll have a link down below okay so now we have all of this you can have landing pages and I'll I'll make a video on how to set up a landing page I use convert kit personally I love convert kit I just it's so much fun I loved it a, a little bit better but it's totally up to you the choices are you the oh my gosh like go like uh Omek in legends of the hidden temple 90s kid uh, the choices are yours and yours alone. So that's all up to you. Now, where do we, where do we create these newsletters? And the one place that I always go to, and it's my go-to, is Canva. I love Canva because Canva gives you templates, and it's so, it was just very, very easy. And now I'm going to take you into my computer, and I will show you guys how you can create your own newsletter and you guys will see my newsletter uh, for this is for the month of March if you sign up now for my newsletter this is what you will get if you sign up for my newsletter and I hope that you will uh, I hope that uh, you would like to so let's head now to my computer right now and we will I'll show you how to do it work here on creating our newsletters so here is where I create mine and it is here in Canva of course I love Canva and the reason why is because here in Canva we can have templates so down here is everything here which I've been working on as you can see there's my newsletter and here we go so I'm going to take you guys into here well um, so I'll show you guys here what you can look at here and then I'll show you guys my newsletter. So here you have your, this is a template and this is a blank. I think, yeah, I clicked on the blank one, sorry. But um, over here you will have a ton of templates to choose from. They have uh, schools and recently used didn't use that template though I don't know why let's just go to see all you can have them over here but silly me I clicked on the wrong one well you know what why don't we just go here and click down here on just the news newsletter maybe that well or does it have to be blank uh, well we can just go up here and you can do it this way too if you don't have it down in the in below newsletter and then so you have email newsletter you have all these other ones here we'll go to the email newsletter because that's usually how it's going to be uh, you know sent out is to email here we go now you have all of these templates here that you can choose from and they have some pretty cool templates that you can have uh, for pictures and just little little tidbits and things I mean it is so cool guys it's so easy I think the hardest part for me was getting pictures for mine so you have all of these templates here that you can choose from and then let me see I mean they're just so cool you 
but you can it really can help you as well and then all you got to do is just choose one all right this one's just for some reason speaking to me let's click on this to do so when it comes up and this is what i love about it you have like it is just it's so cool i mean you may not be for fashion we are you know this is you know for authors but we have here you can choose just anything you want to write about or let your let your audience let your readers know that your subscribers and you can put anything you want to talk about you can add a page and then it will come up like that um, the one that I used for mine and it's because it's showing up right here this is my template that I used Let's see, apply to both pages. So this is my template. I used this template for mine. And of course, I'm not a, it, you know, I'm a romance writer. It has nothing to do with fashion, but this is the one that I used. Okay, and you can just go in and it's totally, everything is just completely, um, you know, it's all customizable. Sorry, I started to think of, you could just you could put anything you want to put in here. You can say um, newsletter. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Like from well, yeah, from the desk of, and then you can just you know. So my goals. It's hard to see because. Okay, so then and you can just go in and totally, I can make that smaller so it will fit. Well, it's not the whole. Here, we can just kind of, and you can move things around. Cause just, it's totally 1000% customizable. And that is what I love about with Canva. And you can write whatever you want to write about for your newsletter. Do you want to tell them, or, you know, if you're... If you're a fiction writer, you can tell them all about your upcoming book. You can tell them about, you know, stories to, and, you know, attract and give them something different, you know, that you can't have on your website because you want them to sign up. So I'll go in here, guys, and I will show you my newsletter. Let's go back to home. And I will show you guys that would yeah, get that was my template that I used. It was the fashion, the fashion summer. There it goes. The fashion summer template. But this is what I used from this is how mine is for the month of March. So if you were to go to my website and subscribe to my newsletter, this is the first one you will get for March. <clears throat> and this is what it looks like right here. Let's uh let's get rid of that. Make that bigger. And let's let it load. There it is. So this is and it's just small because we're at 36%. If I whoa, let's go to uh, well, well, we'll go there. So this is what it will this is what it looks like. I made it springy and I had my name here. So um this right here is part of also my website. I am a fiction writer and these are actually my two characters. I found these wonderful models that I found on Shutterstock who, and yes, I did pay for these. This is actually, uh, they were based off of my story. They look exactly like my characters. This girl was actually, I saw her first and that is who I uh, modeled uh, my character, Alina. That's who I modeled her after, red hair, you know, all of that. And um, that is the love interest, the Nikolai. You got to read the book. Come read the book, guys. It's so cool. And I love how this all worked. And they do live in London. He is British. She is not. And it has a very a twist to it is that uh, just you guys, you got it. I really want you to read it. It's really cool. And I have over here, that's the book. And I made this all in um, book brush. So I have pictures of the book and, you know, read our story. I, I kind of really based this around I base this around the characters because a lot of the readers it's, it's fun it's fun it's cool and that's the name of the, the website you can go check it out and um, this right here is uh, I made this page about you know I have here um, 
Nana La Rosa is um is is uh Elena's grandmother and she is an Italian she's a she was she passed away she is an Italian chef and so I have these wonderful recipes that um that I have and I have made and they're really really good and this is like food that was featured in the book in in the novel so if you want to make these recipes that are talked about and made in the novel they are right here so this is the first one here this is Elena's favorite dish and it's fettuccine alfredo and so um, if you click on this I have actually tagged that so people who get it they can click on it and we'll take them to that page but this is what like kind of like the table of contents there's that this is what I'm reading slash listening to because I don't read anymore I listen to audiobooks um, there was that book I've actually listened to another book here recently I devoured it was so good and I'll talk about it in uh in the next uh and i'll talk about it in the next uh in the next newsletter but there was that and then i have a new post which is actually the new post is really just a message from me so all right so here if you went to from like nana la rosa's kitchen this is it i now these are all i decorated all of this here i had a blank page i went in and found if you can see in the background it's you know italian like there's grapes and you know breads and pastas and cheeses so I put that in the background and I put um, a cannoli because they're Italian I put in like a cannoli and basil leaves and I, I you know down here breads and grapes and here's the recipe for the uh, to make the fettuccine alfredo so I have that in there and I have the what I am reading or listening and mainly listening to because I put that there um, I still say this is considered reading even though I'm listening so I put the, the picture of the book there, and this is just a little, um, it talks about, uh, it's just the blurb of the book, if the, anybody wants to go look at that. And down here, I wrote a little note to my, uh, to my uh, readers, to my subscribers, and thank them so much. And then there we go, and that's it. Very short, very simple. I thought it would be fun, give something, you know, little bit it still tells a little bit about me and my little note to all the subscribers and the readers and just you know what I'm interested in and you know you get a little recipe from the book and uh, you get to see cute little things of the uh, of the actor or not the actors but of the characters you can see there in the back of they went like with Big Ben and and all of that this was really cool too because I made this all in Canva because these two people are not together they are in this picture i made them look like this and i put a special backdrop it was so cool i love i have see to me i love to have so much fun with it because being a fiction writer i, I can do that so i thought that is what uh you know that people would like and for march it's for spring i made it real springy and then so in the next one I'll, I'll probably change it up a bit maybe put for april because april has like you know we're known for rain in which that's what it's doing right now here in florida and there you go so this is my web. This is my newsletter, and so you guys, the sky is the limit for whatever you you know. Canva, there's no, there is no limits to what you can do. And I have down here, you know, the Cinestique novel up for people like you can just know of of that. All right, thank you guys so much. Tell me, what do you think of my, what do you think of my newsletter? Let me know in the comments below if you want to have a copy of it for yourself please go to my website check out my website it is so fun and cool i think that will probably be my next video that i will talk about is making a website all right guys thank you so much have a good day and remember right on so that's it that's how i made my newsletter thank you guys so much for joining me again i hope that you learned something from this video that it was helpful that i gave you some ideas on how to create your newsletter let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video also my challenge to you guys my challenge is i would love it if you guys would put in the comments down below if you who's your favorite author and have you signed up for their newsletter so let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you've not subscribed to the channel, I hope that you will subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming uh, videos or any of that. I have you know, a lot more coming out as well. And also, like I said, you know, please also hope you will join me for my podcast if you want to know more 
about, uh, like I said, I had my first episode was the, the future of the print book, what's going to happen in, you know, with, in the world with the, uh, with literary, with print. My next one is I talk about coming out, uh, Next week, it's going to be about uh, the fantasy genre. I talked about, is it oversaturated? And then, so this coming up, I will probably be doing another genre, popular genre out there. Um, what it looks like for for that, in that, you know, their future for, for that. So I hope you will join that. Check out my website, guys, thecinestatenovel.com. I hope you will sign up for my newsletter. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you want to support the channel, buy the ebook. You can go buy the book or you can buy the audiobook. The audiobook is awesome, you guys. Like I said, Logan Digma and Jackson Lari, they are really amazing, great, great voice actors, great kids. I hope that you will please go check it out. You can go there at the website and at the store and it will take you right there and you can listen to a clip of it as well. Okay, thank you guys so, so much. I hope you have a great day and an even greater tomorrow. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember to ride on. Bye, guys. What are you waiting for?